Taylor, thank you for joining me today. It's so great to actually see you. Good to see you, Amy. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, um, so 2020, you know, such a dumpster fire of a year. And it obviously, if it taught us anything, I think it was how to just adjust and pivot. And, um, and part of what we've all needed to do is, you know, find a way to continue our work but in different, you know, through different channels. Um, so, you know, I, I appreciate you being here. And if you, you know, I'd love to get a little preview and it doesn't have to be anything, um, you don't have to show me slides or anything, but just sort of, I just want to hear you riff a little bit about um, what you'll be talking about at the upcoming Changemakers Summit. Awesome. And for those of you, sorry, before I let you riff on it, let me just tell you, you folks out there that um, Taylor Shanklin, she's the vice president of growth at the wonderful, our friends at Firefly Partners. And um, she is just a wonderful source of information. I highly recommend you, you know, listen to her podcast, the SOAR podcast, S-O-A-R, and also, you know, follow her on social. She's really fun. Um, the session she's going to lead is called Human to Human Connection in a Digital World, How to Amplify Your Impact and Community. And I know, Taylor, that's something that's it's on all of our to-do lists. So if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about what you have in mind. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the premise of this is it, it, it's been compounded by the COVID world that we're living in, right? So when you think about digital connections and the fact that that's mostly the way that we can connect right now. And that's, you mentioned Amy at the beginning, like we're all having to do our jobs a little bit differently. Um, digital is playing a huge role in that. Now I've been doing digital for a long time. And so mm -hmm. this is stuff that's been on my mind and at Firefly, like we've been doing digital and in a way for a long time, but it's changing even more now because we have to take new things into account, right? We have to take into account the fact that people are really fatigued right now. So when you think about your audiences, your donors, your volunteers, your peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, past walk participants that you're maybe asking to show up in a more virtual way right now, they're fatigued and they're also looking for more authentic connection. So when I say human to human, it's really about the way that I think digital marketing is going. Um, and we kind of talk about this, my team and I talk about this idea of human to human as like, traditionally you think about marketing as, you know, you hear these buzz buzzwords, are you doing B2C? And maybe if you're a nonprofit, marketing to a you know, consumer, essentially to give you a $25 gift online, you're doing B2C marketing, right? If you're thinking about the corporate space, maybe your corporate programs, that's more B2B, right? Business to business. At the end of the day, everybody's a human on the other end of that computer screen right now. And we have to think about how can we take all of the pieces of like these digital platforms and frameworks and communication and what you're saying and put it together to make all of it feel more human, less transactional, and more connected, even if it is on the other side of a computer screen or a phone screen. Um, you and I right now, Amy, are connecting in a real and human way. I wish that I could like be sitting in a room with you, but it's, it's what we have right now. And so I actually think that when you think about digital marketing and human to human, there's a lot of ways that we're going to talk about how you can take this framework that we've developed of what human to human marketing is because there's a lot of pieces and you can actually create those real human experiences that feel more authentic when you put all of the pieces of digital marketing and communications and your messaging, your case for support together in a more connected way, if that makes sense. It, it does. And I have, I, you're, you're speaking my language completely. <laughs> I've been saying, you know, saying the same thing to associates and, um, clients and such for the past, you know, well, gosh, almost a year now, right? But yeah. um, I was just thinking how kind of ironic, right, that we've, I mean, top nonprofits has always been a virtual business and how 
all of that virtual aspect and the technology has gone, we've almost come full circle, right? Like we utilize the technology prior to COVID to reach more people and, you know, get our mission across to more folks in an easier, more, you know, uh, I hate to say gunshot approach, but you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. kind of put it out there and amplify the message. But now we're taking that and kind of really fine tuning it so that it's actually, we're people and it's speaking to the needs that people have right now who have been, we've all been, you know, quarantined and I love my family, but wow, all the togetherness is really. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Let's say I go on a lot more walks now than I used to. I'm like, I'm just going to get out of the house for a bit and go on another walk. <laughs> I know. The dogs are like, I have to drag the dogs along. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, We're going again, boys. No. <laughs> no, never get tired of it. Um, but that said, um, we're, I, I'm really looking forward to the session. I think it's going to be hugely beneficial. And can you tell us a little bit, um, you said something about a framework. Will there be tools that you're going to provide or what would that look like? Yeah, so I'm going to talk about some examples. So the framework essentially, just to give you a little snake freak, oh. snake freak um, is it, it's really about like connecting the dots between strategy and communications and digital technology. What are, what are the actual tools, right? So I'm gonna talk about examples of how to think at a high level about what you're saying, where you're saying it, how you're incorporating a feedback loop from people on different digital channels, uh, and then how you are taking that information back and then actually doing like good data segmentation and personalization and things like that to give people a better experience. Because you kind of mentioned the shotgun approach right now. It's like a lot of times it, it can be hard to take information from all of your different digital uh, platforms. You know, you've got mm -hmm. things going on on Facebook, on email marketing, on maybe a peer to peer campaign, on LinkedIn. And it can be hard to really sometimes understand how like all of those different channels are working for you, who's showing up where, and how you should then build your strategy around reaching people in the way and the place that they want to be reached that is also communicating a case for support that actually resonates with them. And that's how you create the human to human experience where they feel like you at the organization are speaking like a real human to me on the other side of that you know, screen to then give back to you, other humans at the organization. Does that make sense? That's kind of the, the ideology behind it. And um, it's, it's, it's a lot to navigate. Like it can be, digital can be overwhelming. And it's, it's true, like we're, Firefly, we're a virtual company. We've been virtual ever since we were founded in 2007. We all work in different places. We've all been doing digital for a long time. But even this year, there's things we're having to recognize are different about the way we need to do digital with our clients now than maybe a couple of years ago, right? There's just a lot that's changed and there's a lot that's um, mm -hmm even harder to navigate right now. And so we're working on navigating our way through that with this, um, this framework. Mm 